Hi and welcome to our TurboCAD 2019 presentation series. Today we'll be looking at some 2D drafting features on TurboCAD 2019 and in this session we will have a look at how to draw a saw blade. I'll show you the drawing right here. So this is what we will be creating and we will be using some 2D drawing tools, some 2D modify tools as well as a, a copy tool or two. I'm going to start off with using my line tool and I'm going to go put it on a center line layer. Here is a few layers that I have created beforehand. Right, I'm going to start off center lines and I'm just going to create a, a reference to work from. That would simply be a vertical line and a horizontal line like so. I'm going to go choose my concentric circle tool and that would be on the model layer. And on the intersection here where the two lines crosses, I will draw a few circles. Intersection the center of the first circle, which I need a diameter of 19. And another one with a diameter of 38. And I've got another one with a diameter of 82. Now I'm going to draw a little bit of construction, so I'm going to go into my construction tools and I'm going to take the cons construction circle tool and from the center of these circles I will draw a construction circle with a diameter of 116 and I'm going to do another one with a diameter, or this time I'm going to put a radius of 76. And then I'm going to go take my angular construction tool and from this intersection I will draw a angular line, construction line, on a angle of 60 degrees. Now what I want to do is go to my line toolbox, get the polygon. I'm going to start the polygon from this intersection here. I want the polygon to be drawn on my model layer, so I'm just going to change the layer there. Right, and then I'm going to change the reference of this polyline, by polygon to go from a segment, as you can see there. And I'm going to put that segment down on the intersection over there. Next up, I need to draw a little circle on the intersection between my construction circle and my center line. And this is a circle with a diameter of 8. Now I'm going to go take my polyline tool. I'm going to draw a polyline starting from this intersection here. And then do a perpendicular line to the center. There we go. Just used the perpendicular snap. And I'm going to go to that intersection and finish the polyline. Right, now I'm going to go and use some of my copy tools. I'm going to go, whenever you need to copy something, you have to select it first. So I'm going to go select this little circle here, go to modify, and I'm going to go use my radial copy tool. And I'm going to copy around the intersection there. And I need six sets of them. And there you go. Now I will select my polyline and do the same thing, array radial around the intersection there and give it 12 sets and look at that let's get rid of some of the construction circles or all of the constructions construction entities i'm going to go clear all construction and there we have our saw blade <clears throat> now, just for the fun of it i'd like to show you how to turn this into a 3d object by using our simple extrude tool just to make it a bit sim easier to do i am going to delete some of the detail we have on the inside there we go and let's put this on an isometric view as you can see this is a 2d flat profile over there you've got a simple extrude tool and i'm going to first click on the outside which i want to extrude then i'm going to select all these holes to automatically be subtracted while i extrude this entity and i'm going to give it a height of 20 millimeters and enter Let's do a bit of a render here. And there we go. Look at that. 
Thank you for watching. Until next time.